Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. So a legendary hedge fund manager and trader, Paul Tudor Jones, had just come out and said he's going all in on an inflation trade. Now I'm going to play you guys this clip, but the real question is, is he baiting Reddit traders and Wall Street bet traders and retail investors like you to actually join this inflation trade? Or does he genuinely believe that this is a good trade? Firstly, who is Paul Tudor Jones? So Paul Tudor Jones is an American billionaire hedge fund manager with a net worth of over $7 billion. So I'm just going to play you the clip he said right now. Well, I'm going to watch the Fed on Wednesday. Uh, if they treat these numbers, which were material events, they're very material, if they treat them with nonchalance, then I, I think it's just a green light to, to bet heavily on every inflation trade. I, I think it's just a green light to, to bet heavily on every inflation trade. $88 trillion of assets under management by asset managers. Of that, $670 billion are invested in commodity indices like Bloomberg Commodity Index, Goldman Sachs Commodity Index. That's about three quarters of 1%. If I rewind just to 2011, when inflation was peaking at 3%, not CPI at 4.9, those same investors had 1.2% of their assets, which would imply today if they just got back to wait, another $400 billion of buying in commodity indices. Certainly the impact models that we run would, would argue that GSER or BCOM would double or triple. So you got what happens if the Reddit crowd ever gets, what happens if the Reddit crowd ever gets into commodities? God forbid if the bullies, the financial markets. Okay, so what about the Reddit situation? Well, I'll give my personal opinion on this. So it seems to me like he is really trying to bait Reddit traders, he's trying to bait Wall Street bets traders and retail investors like you to actually hop on this inflation trade. Whether he's doing that for some nefarious reason where, where he's going to actually wait for it to go up and then call all his hedge fund buddies and sell out when the commodities are going high, or he genuinely believes it's a great trade for everyone to jump on. Now, it's difficult to say, but he does own around 5% gold, 5% Bitcoin, and I'm assuming his hedge fund has already invested heavily in commodities. So definitely he will benefit if the retail investing bandwagon actually jumps on to this trade. Stocks only go up. But I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys, so please do comment below. Do you think he's baiting retail investors to jump on this commodity trade, or do you think it is genuinely a good trade and could actually be an option for your portfolio? I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys, so please do comment below. This is what Paul Tudor Jones is referring to. So if I hop into the U.S. inflation numbers, the target for the Federal Reserve, which is the central bank in the U.S., is approximately 2%. So they don't mind being slightly under or slightly over. Now, in January 2021 and October 2020, of course, inflation was actually lower than the target numbers. It was, however, now in April, moving into June 2021, we're seeing rising inflation. So it reached up to 5% inflation, which really is, which really is incredibly high. So much higher than their 2% target. Now, the Federal Reserve has come out and they've basically said, don't worry, guys, this is transitory inflation. So it's only temporarily It's because everything's reopening. That's why we're seeing such high inflation numbers. But many hedge funds don't believe the Federal Reserve and are actually going long on commodities. So they're buying up lots of commodities. So you can see another hedge fund here, transitory inflation idea is nonsense, says Wincress Bernard. Now, what's the cause of this and what's the real issue? During times of unexpected inflation, so sharp upticks here, like we saw back in the 1970s, we had a massive increase in the price of gold, which happened here. Um, up 140%. And we also have nice boosts in the price of real estate. So REITs or Real Estate Investment Trust is a way of investing in them via the stock market. So that's what we see. We basically see that gold and real estate or REITs are actually great places to invest during times of rising inflation. Okay, so what's the real cause of this? Well, there's been a heap load of money printed in 2020, trillions of dollars of stimulus packages all over the world. So hopping into the M1 money stock here, we can see the money stock here was trundling along very, very nice. And then boom, as soon as 2020 came and the whole pandemic hit, the Fed had to pump trillions of dollars in stimulus by sending anyone stimulus checks to actually get the economy 
back on track. But, but this now means one in every $5 was printed in 2020. So that's the major issue. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. How are you playing this inflation better? Are you holding your current portfolio? I personally always recommend a diversified portfolio anyway. So you will benefit either way. If you really want to be a bit more bullish, you can pivot during situations like this to actually take advantage of these opportunities. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. If you did find value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to join the family by hitting that subscribe button, turning that notification bell on. And if you do want to access my live buy sells, my entire portfolio, check out that first link in the description below for our thriving VIP membership group. And with that being said, I hope you guys all have a tremendous day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.